Welcome back. In the previous video, we saw all about the life cycle methods. We saw which life cycle methods get called at what point of time during the execution of our application. This video is going to be very quick. We are going to remove our API call from our render method and make it to get called inside our component did mount method and we are also going to integrate very quickly the api with our application so that we see something new on our test challenge so yes let's get started very quickly i am going to go to my app component and then i am going to define the usage of component did mount so as soon as the component gets mounted I am going to call this particular API. I'm going to write this again just for so that you guys can get a practice fetch with the URL inside it and then dot then inside the then I am going to get the response. I'm going to call response dot text to extract the text out of it. It's going to return me a promise and when that promise gets fulfilled, I am going to get the information or let's say data out of it and then we can use this data so for now let's just do one thing let's just console dot log our particular data so yes and just to show you that render method will get called twice after we change the state i am also going to put a log statement here that render method was called simple as simple as that so yes let me quickly open my console and I am going to refresh the page as soon as I refresh the page as I told you in the previous video in the order of execution firstly the constructor gets called then the render method gets called and then the component did mount gets called so here we are not updating the state so that's why the render method did not get called once again so for example what if I would have done something like this something very simple this dot set state of let's say time remaining uh, time remaining so in case you are not aware about this dot set state we have talked about it a lot in our previous project do check it out the aam playlist so let's say i do um, let's say this dot state dot or maybe let's say i'll just do it as 30 seconds so this is something that we are going to do every second in the upcoming videos i'm going to tell you how can you integrate a timer with your application so every second our state is going to change because time remaining has to be changed and as you are going to see every second the render method will get called and if you were calling so let me just do it very quickly as you can see there are two log statements render method was called render method was, render method was called so render method was called two times so in case you were putting your uh, API call inside your render method so for a simple 60 second tests you would have made 60 API calls which would make your app super slow so you would never want to do that remember that and in case you are wondering why did we get render uh, method was called and then uh, this again instead of getting this so ideally it's render then component did mount so ideally it should be uh, render method was called and then the log statement for the data and then this again yes so what happens is firstly the render method gets called render method was called and then component did mount gets called here we make a request to the api but the api does not immediately returns us the response so instead of waiting for it we go to the next line in the background the api call is taking place but we go to the next line and we update our state so before actually fetching the data our state gets updated and that's why you are seeing two render method was called here instead of this then this and then this so yes that was just for your information so now what I'm going to do is just one final step. As soon as I get my data, I am going to update my state. And inside the state, I am just going to simply put the selected paragraph as data. And that should be good enough. And I can now safely remove this particular section. And let's refresh the page. So now as you are going to see, now we are actually waiting before setting the state we are waiting for the data so what happens here 
firstly render method gets called render method was called gets printed then we call the fetch inside the component did mount we wait for the request and we print the information that we get out of it we print the information and then we set the state again state gets updated and as soon as the state gets updated we see our render method gets called again and then the log statement gets printed that render method was called so this is as simple as that you this is something that you should definitely remember that don't put any unnecessary things in the render method because it's going to get called a lot of times so yes let's remove this log statement as well and this is good enough so now we have successfully integrated our api just to show you let me refresh this page and if we go down we now show the result api result it's getting printed on our screen this is super cool and just one last thing before we go uh, instead of setting our state i am not going to call this api i'm just going to uh, comment it out because I don't want to because we are still building the application there are still some things that we need to do for example working on the timer for example uh, having the handlers event handlers as soon as we start typing and so on so I don't want every time I refresh the page to I I should be making an API call because we are still developing so I will just comment this particular thing out just so that I don't make any unnecessary network calls or API calls. So yes, that's it. In this video, we saw how can we use the lifecycle methods in our particular project. See you in the next video. Bye bye.